Okay, so to follow up on yesterday, we're going to talk today about the desktop version of um, uh, the uh, the app. I uh, mean, sorry, about uh, IPFS. Now, I had some struggles trying to get it on. I tried building it by hand, and uh, yeah, that for some reason it kept complaining IPFS was not installed even though everything was running. So I ended up having to use this procedure that you see here. I downloaded the app image package and this is where you get it on GitHub. IPFS, IPFS desktop and ran through this. And once I did that uh, let me see if I can, I'm going to have to bring it up, but let me bring it up. Uh, let's go here, and here we go. No. And here you go. Here is our little IPFS desktop app. Um, and you can see it's doing everything, uh, looking at everything. You can see this is where I ran into the issue. When I tried to put, to put this in, it did not it would not take this address even though it said it was running on that address and again the reason it was saying was that uh, that it could not find IPFS which somehow which was not installed and I tried doing different installs and yeah it didn't like it so that's something to um, to look into because theoretically it should just work <laughs> Uh, but obviously there's a step I'm missing and uh, I even tried doing um, an NPM install with nothing which often will just grab everything you need to um, you know for your IPFS I mean sorry for your NPM build and you're running your NPM so you can see it's uh, it's going along and it is, you can explore it. So you can just, so copy this. Uh, do this, let's see if this works. And look at that you can get all so this is really more of a file system or you can substitute for, for serving web pages and you can look like if this is like your bra you know your browser you can also um, do it you get this to this from a browser uh, it's the um, what is it IPFS let me tell you uh, let's see if we got that going. Yeah. So, it's basically, to do that, since I had a local swarm running, a local um, node running, local node at 501, and that IPFS, I think it's wget. And, uh, you can see that when you start your swarm. Uh, and, uh, let me see if I can show you that. Let's see what we got here. Ah. Um, yeah, we're gonna. Cancel. Let me bring this up top here. Yeah. You can see. This is where it's listening for the app. And this is where it's listening from, uh, well, let me point it to you and point you to it 
from the actual thing. So this is where it's listening on the app here. I'm highlighting. This is where if you're running web, which kind of translates, I, I guess, from from this uh, IP4 to web, and this will bring you essentially the same web, same thing. Uh, there's a gateway server, so it it's basically kind of going from IPFS to the web and it shows all the local nodes and but uh, yeah I tried a bunch of stuff to get the one that I built working but it did not have IPFS installed by using the um, the, the method that I showed you earlier where you just get the image yeah it was real happy about that that it was happy about so anyway um, hopefully this has been helpful to you uh, and um, you know it it's kind of nice it lets you see everything and operate with this in a more intelligent fashion uh, they, this thing with these CIDs I really still think to be really usable they're gonna have to find a way to do something like DNS where you have um, this large CID translating to something intelligent and uh, you know some kind of something not sure what that is but uh, you know, maybe that's 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 an opportunity. So, is the data model of the kind so it explains to you what it is. Look at this. You can look at a Ethereum block here. But um, once you have, I the well, I didn't like that. didn't like that. Anyway, let's see. What? Ah. Uh, what? This is interesting. I'm not sure why it didn't like this link. I'm tempted to try it again. Because current link isn't to a fa okay. It's not that it doesn't Yeah, for some reason, um, like this one, so you can actually view it on the on a gateway. Anyway, so it'll bring it up in a web thing when you click on this. Anyway, hopefully this has been helpful to you. I think I was getting off a little bit on a tangent on. Um, you know, playing around with the uh, tool. Anyway, uh, if this has been helpful to you, then uh, please li uh, like, please uh, subscribe, ring the bell, and share it with your friends who might be interested in this topic. I think this has a lot of potential, and um, I will speak to you next time.